top 12. sides of the field, but Rainbow and Dormy versus Reimu and Smirko. I'm probably getting a big counter hit 6A. That does, that can do a lot of damage, but he doesn't get anything right there. I got Reimu Zetos. Okay, let's just come back. DFU has a bit more tag meter here. Oh, gets the jab. We're jumping A. Big damage. Oh, doesn't get the knockdown. Still lots of damage there. Jumping A starters do a lot of damage, especially if we get counter hit. Missed opportunity right there, but it's a pretty even game. Oh well, fighter about to get guard crushed. Has no choice but to switch back. Oh, gets tagged by the charge speed. DFG holding his own here, being L fighter from doing what he wants, and L fighter just declares. Probably wants to force game momentum if he can find some room. Okay. Oh, that was a good opportunity to cast it. Okay, here it comes. If he blocks it, it's exactly what you don't want to happen. Look at that massive chip. He's gonna have to switch. He has no choice. Okay. Tagged by the 4C. Oh, nice. DFG's in there. Gets a knockdown. Oh, and this is the combo, but he's taking the lead. Okay. I'll fight with this patented uh, telephone pole in the dive kick setup. Very hard to dodge. Okay. The delayed melee. Good respect. 17 seconds on the timer. These guys playing so respectful. Combo drops. This should actually KO. Oh, not quite, but I don't know if DFG has it in him to actually take this back. He has 10 seconds. He declares. Can he find the hit? Goes for it. Makes him block. Oh, when he gets hit by the 6A. Okay, we go into round two. With that first round going down to the last 10 seconds. Okay. Hellfighter going for telephone holes. DMG avoids the first. Blocks a second, not much damage taken on him for that. Oh, nice 8A. A Our fighter in pretty good control right here with the zoning, but take the bullet. Okay, good block, 6A, connects. Only 85% level and 2k damage. I remember when those used to be 3k every time. I kind of miss old Samirko. She was so strong. Too strong, probably, but she was very strong. DFG just taking all sorts of hits from the full screen. He just can't get in. But this might be changing things. And to keep this momentum. A fighter declares again. Goes for his card. Oh, ends up blocking it. 6 6 B! Gets the conversion! Hard knockdown, let's see what we got! DFG in dire straits. Ooh, nice cross up! You can't block that, no one can block that. You see that? That was like... <laughs> Oof.
go. Game two. Got some color counter pick. Ooh, power A. Oh, but that doesn't convert. Is that the reset? Ooh, this damage. Love this combo. Okay. That's fake grab setup for 6B. Doesn't get anything from it though. DFG not very scared of the throw. Here we are. 6 6 B right in the face. An opportunity. Nice. Let's see what he gets. The Toast Oki. The Fighter not blocking. Okay, good block here. DFG looking a lot stronger in this part. Doesn't get a full combo here, but oh, he backs off. That was an opportunity. L Fighter declares his card. He's gonna look for an opportunity. 66B won't hit his mark. DFG has to back off. Oh, he blocks the pillars. That's a lot of chip. Switches to Dormy. Okay, they try to restore some health, but he's gotta try not to get hit, or else that well, well or else that light health's just gonna go away. Oh, here's a hit! Oh, but he doesn't get anything from it. Bad positioning. DFG switches back to Raymond. Here's the Declare. Can he land? It's hard. Ooh. He, he spooked him with the, the Danmaku tank guy right there. Okay. No, knock down here so he can't tag tag. Oh, that's a, almost very bad whip he'd see gonna go back down to time this time. I can see it. Both ties are just so close. Oh my gosh. 18. 19. Oh, he goes for it! He gets hit! Oh, that's huge! He doesn't even have to go in anymore. But he's going in still. He's just gonna keep the pressure up. 9. 8. Can L Fighter find the hit? I don't think so. Spherical's not fast. Oh! Oh, that's not enough. DFG takes the round by timeout. Finally gets on the board here. A very defensive matchup with the FDC. Very bullet heavy characters going up against each other. Okay, here we go. Towers. Oh, and the blocking gold. Not that much chip damage. Nice 6 6 B. To keep the pressure. EFG rushing in there. Oh, nice block. <laughs> that side swap was tricky. DFG trying to control the bottom part of the screen from the top using a lot of J2B. Well, Elfighter is just looking for that 8A, occasionally throwing that telephone pole in there. DFG forces him to block something. Oh, he gets tagged. Elfighter's in there. Doesn't get the tag, but nice C from DFG. Oh, surprise QC right there. Fighter has all those momentum here in the screen control. Right against the corners, where right where he wants you. Oh, as I'm getting tagged though. And again, the pull into 2C. So strong. DFG declares his barrier. Hellfighter also declares his card. He go. I don't. Uh, no, he's gonna get hit. No, don't do that. He's dead. <laughs> Bad ideas. 2017. Kind of just gave that away. There we go into round three. Well, 
well, I guess it's 2018 now. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. This game came out in 2017, so it's fine. I want to see some more throws, actually. Ooh! That's a knockdown. Let's see what we got. Oh wow, just two seed in his face. Hellfighter was scared, he tried to mash throw right there. Oh, that trades. Something you do that's not usually talked about is if you have a bullet on screen, the character's bullet only disappears if you hit that specific character. So if you have a 4C on screen as a miracle and then you get hit as your tag, the 4C will stay on screen. Meanwhile, sick cross up by DFG brings Elf Fighter within an inch of his life, forcing him to switch to Ray Move. Is this enough? No, Kongo just barely drops. Elf Fighter declares his telephone poles. Here they come. The chip is real. Finds the hit. Oh, the combo drops. He's still in there. Nice. Using the tag for pressure. Another hard knockdown. So it's just a miracle. Still, DFG with the lead and only needs some one hit on him. Doesn't need to go in. Nice. 8-8. Squid has such a strong health lead with such mo a lot of time left and gets them with the 6-6 six, six speed. That'll do it for game two. Okay, game three. Take it to Ray Moose Shrine at night. Home field advantage for DFG, maybe? Well, both players are using Ray Moose. Nice 6 8. 3.1k. Okay, nice blocks. DFG getting hit by it right there. I have a 6 b It's all coming down to neutral here. Fighter just trying to slowly back him down, giving the threat of the melee. Nice, gets behind him right there. Oh, the combo drops, but still the damage is done. Keep up the zoning, nice 4C. Okay. If he had a little bit of pressure right there, he couldn't keep it up though. Here's the telephone pole. Look at the chip. That's all the way down to 1 HP. I might see a throw. Oh, goes for the Kag escape. Good option by DFG. Going to have another chance at life. You gotta watch out. That attack meter goes away. He's basically dead. That's gonna do it. Yep. Good tick throw by L Fighter. Go to potentially match point here. DFG with a smart round stop, but that fire is mashing that drop combo. Here comes the radio towers. DFG not avoiding it properly. It's all that damage. Nice force. And Elf Lighter looks like he's in complete control here. Goes for the throw and he gets him! Ooh. Big punish here. 2k. Simple. Oh, nice! Again, the, the, the tech guy I was talking about, when you call 4C then switch, it stays on screen. This won't quite KO, but Elf Lighter only just needs like. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And Elf Fighter takes it. Two games to one.